Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be trying some more prom dresses. Now, prom, I'm pretty sure, is canceled, I think. You guys can fill me in on that. I don't know what it is, like province to province, state to state, country to country but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be happening. Then again, things are changing really quickly. I have no idea what the next couple months will hold, but I'm doing this video with the idea that problem is probably canceled, but it's still fun to try on big, bold, beautiful dresses. I did a prom dress video a couple weeks ago when we were still obviously in quarantine, and you guys said even though prom may not be happening, you guys still wanna see prom dress videos because the majority of you guys who watch these videos anyways don't have a prom to go to, and I thought that was awesome because obviously I don't have a prom to go to either, and we're still enjoying it together. To the people though who may have a prom in the future, hopefully this is helpful to you, and to the brides who need bridesmaid dresses, hopefully this is helpful to you guys too. And that's the thing that I have said in a few of these videos, these don't have to be specifically prom dresses. Oh my goodness, sorry. There's like a vehicle driving by and it's like fuchsia pink. That's amazing, jealous. So these dresses don't have to be specifically for prom. Any occasion that you would need kind of like a grand dress or kind of like a elegant form, what is it, formal? I was playing Sims the other day and it was like formal attire. Like this would be good formal attire for your sim, but you in real life. So today we are trying prom dresses from Amazon. Now I did an Amazon get ready with me and I got into kind of the whole thing around not ordering items that are non essential. And I got into telling you guys about how for that get ready with me video, I had ordered everything over a year ago. Same story with this, but it's not over a year ago. It was just before the ordering non essentials was enforced that you shouldn't be doing that. So I think it was back early January. Um, in that last video where I said I bought everything a year ago, some people were very skeptic. So I had to share like a picture of the bought items on Instagram. So yeah, I really did actually order all that stuff a year ago and not rip into the box. I know my willpower is out of this world. But yeah, so I ordered this stuff quite a few months ago now and I'm just getting to it now. Um, I'm trying not to order a ton of stuff right now. So I'm kind of diving into like the archives of all the items I've bought in the past. So that is going to be this video. I'm super excited. I'm rambling a lot. I'm in a very talkative mood and I feel like nowhere one around the house has been like wanting to talk to me today. So now I can talk to you guys and nobody can shush me. You could skip me, but I won't know until well, actually, I probably won't know, so you can skip me and shush me, but I won't know. I just think you're listening. So yes, I'm in quite the mood today. I'm very talkative. Great day to try on some dresses. Um, as you can see, I did some fun makeup. I don't think it turned out very great. I did like normal eyeliner and then blue on top. I don't really know why. I'm kind of in like a slump of makeup and then like when I go to do something fun, I don't really know what to do. Um, so this is what you, this is what we got. Okay, but without further ado, you guys probably came here to see the dresses, not to see me ramble on. So let's get into trying these dresses. They are out of the package. They hung for a couple days, just standing there. The dresses weren't standing there. They were hanging there just to get the wrinkles out. So let me bring them in. Let's start. Now, usually I think people try and save the best dress for last, but honestly, I'm going to start with the best dress. In my opinion, is the best. Like this is the one that I would want to wear. It's pink. There's a turtleneck. I love it. And a lot of the prices of the dresses are going to vary. There's some that are like $40 and there's others that are in the $100 range, $100 to $200. Now, this one was $129. Now, this is a lot of detail up here. It's got a lot of embroidered like lace and it's got a sweetheart neckline right here. And this actually trails off very, very long throughout the skirt. And then it has this little lace bit that goes longer than the actual skirt, if you can see that. I think it will make more sense on, but like this feels like the type of dress that you would get at one of those like prom bridal boutiques. Very good quality, feels super, super well made. And also it has a built-in bra, which is nice. I personally love this style, the turtleneck. The model on Amazon looked amazing in this. I hope it's as form fitting as it is in this picture. Let's put it on. Okay, the one that I thought was gonna be my absolute favorite, I can honestly say it's a very pretty dress, but I don't think it fits me good. And like, I'll explain like a few reasons why. I don't know which to do first, the con or the pro, but I think I'll start with the con so we can end happy. This is just like gaping a ton right here. I think because it is a very structured built-in bra, 
it would fit like a certain size and then the other sizes are left to like confusion. For instance, me much too small for this is then left to be like gaping on the sides, almost like it's like open. Like there's a lot of air right there or like just a lot of fabric that isn't being filled out by me, which may be my fault, but I know there's a lot of people that are different sizes. So to have like a bra size that's like almost like a D for like people that could be less or more, I don't know. It's just like way too like cupped. It should just be like almost like a pad. The next thing is probably I would like something to separate these two fabrics, like a belt or something I think would make this look a lot more put together. The positives are for sure the dress looks like the picture to me. May fit a little bit different, less hugging of the curves, but I also don't have as many curves as the model. The back is definitely the highlight. Like if I was going to wear this to my grad, I would definitely just be like, oh yeah, we're getting pictures. Okay, let me just turn around. Like. This is my strong suit. Here's a good shot of it. I'm twisting my neck so much. I would literally have to spin it in a complete circle to be able to see you. But yeah, here's what that looks like. And also, as you can see, the train is very, very pretty. It kind of opens up right there and then it has like a little bit of, what is the word? Oh my goodness, I've literally said the word like a thousand times this video. Why can't I remember? What is this? What is this? This is going to bother me to oblivion. I literally can't go on without figuring out what is this. What are you? Grandparents love you on bedding. <gasps> what is this? What is this? You guys are probably screaming at the screen. I'm so freaking sorry. Whatever this is, it's pretty. I know editing Mia will know what this is. <sighs> Now, if I can remember correctly, this dress was a lot more affordable. It doesn't actually say right now. Actually, I probably have the old screenshot. So I will show you guys the price. Cha-ching, here it is. But this looks like the better version of a Wish prom dress that I bought. Like, I don't know if you guys remember it. It was gray. It had like sequins like this and stitching exactly like this in little leaves. And it even flared out at the bottom. I actually made a TikTok with it. And this looks just like it, but it looks way, way better made. It doesn't have a built-in bra. The back, like, shoulder situation looks exactly like the back like this is the type of dress that if there was no zip zipper it would be like where's the front where's the back i'm confused this feels really good very lightweight nice and thick material it feels great so let's try it on and see how it looks on hopefully it's better than that wish one because it wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst either i remember but maybe this will be the best Wow, okay, I absolutely love this dress. It's a little bit too big for me around the waist. As you can see, it's kind of gapping. So if I was gonna wear it, I would probably get it tailored or do just like the other one, a belt to just like cinch it in a little bit to give that dimension that I would want. But with that aside, this is so pretty. I absolutely love the skirt, the little tool offshoots. I like this neckline. I think it's like a really low maintenance, don't have to worry about it neckline. Same sort of thing on the back. It gives me like an old Hollywood vibe, like to have like the short Marilyn Monroe hair, I think would look so cute with this. The sparkles are really nice. They're not itchy at all. Honestly, only positives to say about this dress. This is, <laughs> So cute, I would just need to do this. Okay, when I picked this dress up, I thought initially this is probably one of the more affordable ones and I was wrong. This was $147 and I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't feel like the best quality dress. It doesn't have a built-in bra and it just kind of feels like, like a thick pair of inexpensive leggings. That being said, the picture looks really good and it does feel like a comfortable fabric, but even this bow, on the front, I just don't know if it's even like structured enough. Oh, it's stitched in, duh, oh my goodness. I don't know, I just think right off the bat, I'm not a huge fan of this fabric for the price point. I definitely think it should have been a little bit less expensive. Also, I'm kind of a bad judge of strapless because I have nothing up top to hold the dress up, so I like constantly am pulling it up. But this does have a little piece of like gummy elasticness here that will help it stay up which is nice. So I think we could just give this a better a better judgment when I have it on, because right now I'm a little underwhelmed with the fabric. It feels a little bit inexpensive, but we'll see. Okay, just as I initially had suspected, I have nothing to hold up this dress. It's kind of just a balancing act. So I would probably want to size it down or put a little bit of a clip right here. Oops, my bra strap is flying out. Excuse me. The nice thing about this fabric is it seems like it would be so affordable to get tailored. Like, I don't think that this would be anything crazy because there's no, like, 
detail or embellishments or anything to have to work around. I think it would just be like a clean hem, clean sew. <laughs> What are the words? Now outside when I was putting this on, I was kind of not for it, but now that I'm in here looking in a mirror, I actually think that this is such a pretty dress. I truly did not think I was gonna like it this much. I think it's a little bit overpriced for the fabric that's being used just because the fabric isn't super luxurious or like a forgiving fabric, but I do really like the dress style. I think it's very cute, very elegant. Actually, less cute, more elegant, definitely. I just wish that there was like more options for sizing because I would definitely have to size down in this to make this kind of elasticy material. Would have to be very skin tight like a bodycon for it to work. But other than that, I love the style and if you can make it work, it's very pretty. I like the blue too. Okay, this next dress was $156. This is a really cute moment. Now, it's got these little straps right here. I think to hold it up, no, this is an off the shoulder as well. I think this is just for hanging and then they'll sink down and be an off the shoulder, which is very pretty, very nice. Same sort of issue with the last one, but I think I could put up with it because I actually am really liking how the top half of this looks. This dress was available in so many different colors. I chose this color. I'm not really sure why. I just thought it was cute. Ooh, look, it's like buttons on the back, but then it's actually a zipper. I love that. I love that sneakiness. This dress, much like the first one, definitely feels expensive. Feels like you would get it from like a bridal boutique. Um, there's lots of nice lace, lots of nice jeweling good tulle skirt. It's just very pretty, like lots of detail and a heavy, nice, expensive feeling fabric. I think this one will be quite good. Just hopefully it fits nice. We will see. We'll put it on. Okay, I smell a new favorite. Definitely. I don't see this being dethroned because this fits me like an absolute glove. Like look at the back of this. Now, I don't want to give it extra points because it fits me well, but like Guys, it fits me great. I thought that the top half was going to be difficult because I have nothing up top, but I think it's just so nice and tight around the waist that it almost doesn't need the top to be super tight. And like these extra elastic bands that I thought were holding it onto the hanger actually really hugs it onto your shoulders and that's kind of what keeps it up. Like that's a great design thing. I absolutely love that. I also love that it has the belt that I've been wanting for all the other dresses I've tried on. It's got a cute little train. I love the lace. I love the embroidery. I love the little sparkles. This one is perfect. I think in any color, this would be absolutely stunning. Like seriously, I can't suggest this one enough. This is so cute. I love the fake buttons as well. Like the back is really, really adorable. If this is your style, I suggest this 100%. You will not be disappointed. Like this dress is great. Next dress, I feel like I already have a love-hate relationship with it and I haven't even put it on. It is full head to toe sequins. When I think of like a beauty pageant, I think of dresses like this. I don't know why. I've never actually watched a beauty pageant full and like through and through unless it's toddlers and tiaras. Like, is that still airing right now? Not sure. It looks like it's gonna be pretty, but like full sequins, like it's gonna be so itchy. I hope that you, hello dress, I hope you can prove me wrong, but like I'm fully intending this to be like one of the most itchy dresses, but I don't wanna say that yet. I don't have it on yet. The one shoulder looks very pretty. I like this nice long, like chiffon looking sash going down. And this was also available in a ton of different colors. Some aren't available in prime, whereas other ones are. So we'll see how it fits. It's a nice heavy material. And like, I will say the sequins aren't too itchy, but I'm a little worried about them. So we'll put it on and see. Okay, fit wise, I'm getting so lucky with these last few dresses because this is how I wanted that blue one with the big bow to fit. It's like a stretchy fabric. So it does have to be kind of tight on so that it doesn't have any movement and just like shows the shape. I feel like this one did an amazing job. I do feel like I'm like competing in a beauty pageant though. Like this screams beauty pageant to me, which there's nothing wrong with that obviously, but like, that's just the vibe I get from it. Even just these, like very beauty pageant. It's actually really comfortable. The sequins are a little bit itchy, but they're not too, too bad. Just in certain areas, like where my arm would like fly by right here, but I'm not even really reacting to it. So 
It makes me think it's not too bad. Like it's not unbearable. I'll put it that way. Length is just a smidgen too short, but I feel like I could just make it work. I could like stretch this fabric because it is super stretchy. Like it's not a mega heavy fabric. It's more like a elastic -y fabric. This is super pretty. Like this would look great at prom. And like honestly this for like a winter wedding, Great. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this black off-shoulder long sleeve mermaid formal prom dress. This has three and a half stars from 17 people, so not the best, which I'm surprised about because like it does feel good quality. Now you probably can't see any of the detailing of it, but it does have like this black lace over top. It has a three-quarter length sleeve of basically lace over here. And then it goes way far down and off the back, there's just like this super long train of black tulle. It'll look a lot better, I think, on. The picture is absolutely stunning and like that's why I have high expectations. Um, the other colors that it was offered in are so pretty too. Uh, so we will see. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I sound like that like seagull on, what is it, Madagascar? Uh, uh, what is that? Anyways, okay, let's try on this last dress. I'm going to my rich man's funeral <laughs> to take all these words. Anyways, there's a lot going on with this dress and I'm liking every bit of it. Look how long that tool train is. Now this comes right out the back, like the whole thing. And it kind of attaches to the skirt. Wow, this is really interesting. Like I can't help but see funeral in this dress, but I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not see that. I'm just gonna erase that whenever I wanna, whenever I try to pull that up. It makes me look very, very pale. Okay, wait, what am I talking about? I need to judge the dress. This has a ton of lace. I love the opening. I feel like it just gave it like all more drama. Definitely more. This slit really helped me enjoy this dress. It's like holding itself up very nicely. It's because it's tight on these straps. I like the lace. Nothing's itchy or anything crazy like that. It's a very nice dress. Like I really, really like this one too. <laughs> There's so much, so much fabric. Ooh, this dress is hard to sit in, I just realized. It's like pretty tight in the hip region. Okay, you guys, so I'm very curious to hear which one was your guys' favorite. If you guys were going to prom tomorrow and you only had these dresses to choose from, which one would you wear? Which one would I wear, you ask? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I would wear the teal one. I really like it. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think it fit the best. That's probably why I would wanna wear it. But I also just really like the style. I've never really been like too much to wear these cause it's always falling down. And I felt like that dress really kept it up and I appreciated that. So I would wear that one. I'm very impressed with all of these dresses. I think that the pictures very much looked like the dresses, which just gets a huge thumbs up. The price is kind of middle of the road. Some were a lot more affordable than the other ones. And I just think they all turned out really good. Like I'm super happy with it. I would feel comfortable getting more dresses from there. If you are not yet tuckered out on watching prom dress videos, I have so many more on my channel. So make sure to go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other brands you want me to try, make sure to comment them down below because I'm always reading the comments and I'm always taking your guys' ideas and turning them into videos. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting and I will see you in the next one.